Good evening and welcome to the big one at Kalyani Stadium. This evening it is the Northeast Derby as Naroka FC take on Aizol FC. As referee Jatinder Singh kicks us off, it's time for Naroka FC versus Aizol FC in the I League 23 24 season. Not the best of seasons, as I said, for Naroka last year. Nongamba puts it in, and that should be a corner. Another one for the Orange Brigade, who have started off quite well. It's to let uh, Jeremy do these runs behind him. That at least for the centre backs, it's a bit more difficult. Here's a chance for Heather Awada. He could have played it. Fabian Reed was there. So was Tangwa. But Heather Awada, and then an acrobatic clearance. Fabian could not win that header. Amavia turns. Can he shoot? He can shoot. But it's over the top and slightly more direct that time from Aizol. We'll look to get it back here as he bombs forward. Puts it into the area. That's a good cross. And for a second, it looked like it was inching into that corner. But this is instead of inside foot where you could have curled that ball to the second post. It's given away again to Nongamba. Tarak is open. Tarak Embram could make it one for Neroka. He's hit the target. And that is Eilie goal number one for Tarak Embram. And it's a proud moment for him in Kalyani Stadium. It doesn't get any better than that. It's 1-0 to Neroka. And Steve, it was Tarak Embram. And who else could it be with you in the com box? Absolutely delight. Lose a ball like that, you need to fall back very, very quickly. And the space that Haida and Fabian, especially Fabian, was getting. Now that's another shot from distance from Rinzwala. He had an option to pass it there towards to Nongamba, whose first touch has not let him down so far. He has a chance to go left or right. He goes left, puts the ball in. This could be number two. Oh, that is very cool defending. But great stuff again from Nongamba. He's around that penalty point. He will do the run in. It's taken short. Tarak will put it forward. It's a good delivery. Has it crept in? No, it has in Ronaldo's header was just put wide by Nora Fernandez. But another good set piece from Niroka. Rohit swings it towards the second post. The header comes in. Easy pickings for Nora Fernandez. And there is a bit of a push and shove inside the box. Will that result in a penalty? I'm not too sure, but definitely a bit of push and shove for sure. Something happened between the two players there. I saw a kick. I'm not 100% sure if it was on purpose or not. But it looks like it will be a yellow card. He's lucky there. Oh, and Surjit Seal also gets a yellow. He's asking what I did and... Defensive shape with Surjit. Another long ball played. It's left by Gustavo. Heather Awada. Good save from Nora. Nongamba takes a shot. It's a good block from Gustavo who makes up for that mistake of his. And you have to... In that action, but there was no real push. And speaking of pushes, Azol definitely need a bit of a push. Amawiya does well. He can cross it in. He does cross it in. But no one gets on the end of it. And then Nongamba puts it out for a corner. A proper, proper chance for Azol, but they haven't been able to. Just in between two of his teammates. But that could have been a very good move for Naroka. Here is Sejal, takes a shot, strikes it brilliantly, and what a save brought out by Nora Fernandez. I think. Absolutely, it is a fascinating battle between these two teams. Keeper counts for it, misses. This could be a chance, and it is the equalizer for Aizol. There is a bit of a mishap at the back, and it looks like it's Rinzwala who gets the equalizer. A bit of a mistake there from Pore Soram, and Aizol start the celebrations because they are back into the derby. And like we were just saying, chances on both sides, creating, having those opportunities. They were struggling a little bit in the, the I-League. And now Amavia sets up, takes a deep breath, wearing the number 7 jersey. Strikes it really well. Brilliant shot from Amavia. And this could be it for Aizol. It should be number 2. A double save to remember from Pore Solam. Especially the second one to just about keep Naroka. 
the last couple of minutes with the ISO creating a little bit better chances. Here is Gustavo who can shoot. Another shot comes in from Rinzwala, but Balvinder uses all that experience I was talking about and gets the block in. Whether there is a man behind him. Amavia with a good delivery into a dangerous area. And again, it is straight to the safe hands of Sorampore. But another big chance for Aizol. Good corner. Which could be the difference between a one point and a three point. Or even a one point and no points. Because here come Aizol again. Tries to open up a shot. That's another cut in. The ball is played in. And that should be the lead for Aizol. It's Rinzwala who gets the double. And Aizol FC come from behind. And might just take all three points. And this is catastrophic for Naroka. And it could be Rinzwala's double that gets them the points. Because if they don't, then it will be another disappointing result. Diaktika once again. And it looks like he could avert himself a penalty. Yes, he has. He has been superb since coming on. Taking on Manoranjan Rinzwala. He's on a hat trick. And Rinzwala finishes it for Aizol. Game, set, match. And a hat trick as well to go with it. A big, big moment for him and for Aizol as well. They know they've got the three. But you see that he's struggling a little bit with his hamstring. Yeah, and just as Gustavo pulls up slightly. The full-time whistle goes, uh, goes and having trailed initially 